Matt Walsh exposed the atrocities underway at Vanderbilt Medical Center in Nashville. A physician there admitted to mutilating the genitals of children because it's a profit center for the hospital. Watch this. These surgeries make a lot of money. Um, so female to male chest reconstruction can bring in $40,000. Uh, a patient just on routine hormone treatment, who I'm only seeing a few times a year, can bring in several thousand dollars because that requires a lot of visits and labs. It actually makes money for the hospital. It actually makes money for the hospital. Now, if you were a muckraking reporter with a conscience, that would be the story of a lifetime. It's all there on tape. A doctor admitting they're mutilating the genitals of children for money, naming the dollar amounts. How could you pass that up? But everyone passed it up. No one covered it. Instead, journalists attacked Matt Walsh for uncovering it. Really? What's the motive there? Nor did they cover what's going on at hospitals across the country, including CHOP, the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, the famous hospital. A hospital that admitted in an email to performing bottom surgery on a minor and slicing off the breasts of young women for no medical reason whatsoever. There's no medical justification for that ever. And yet they bragged about doing it. In Boston, a staffer at Children's Hospital bragged on tape about two-year-olds preparing to transition. Truly insane, utterly divorced from legitimate medicine. But again, it was completely ignored. Here it is. So most of the patients that we have in the GEMS clinic actually know their gender, usually around the age of puberty, but a good portion of children do know as early as seemingly from the womb, and they will usually express their gender identity as very young children, some as soon as they can talk. They might say phrases such as, I'm a girl, or I'm a boy, or I'm going to be a woman, or I'm going to be a mom. Kids know very, very early. So in the GEMS clinic, we see a variety of young children all the way down to ages two and three, and usually up to the ages of nine. That is not science. That doesn't bear any resemblance to science. That's scary. And yet the media choose to ignore it. Why? Because no decent person can look that or any of this in the face without wincing because it's just too awful. It has nothing to do with medicine. It has nothing to do with improving the lives of patients or making this a better country. No, it is a dangerous cult that is causing irreparable harm to children, not just a few, but a lot. Now, at some point, when the spell breaks, our entire society will recognize this because it's obvious, and we will all recoil in shame that we ever tolerated it for a second. But we're not there yet. In the meantime, we are grateful for people like Jamie Michelle, who has had the bravery to tell the truth about what's happening in the face of unending threat.